How do you distinguish yourself between a, a Google and an Amazon and Twitter? We do things in a fun fashion here. You'd be surprised how many people want to work here. It's hard to get a job here. Lose your eye access? What? Hi, I'm Saru Svarbar. I'm here with Jennifer Hahn from Ars Technica to see Steve Tuttle. Thank you. Some people call it the Get Smart entrance. We might call it James Bond entrance. Star Wars, Star Trek. The point is we want to blow your socks off coming into here so that when you come in here, you can see that we're different. We want to have the, the Navy primer gray look because it's the battleship, but it's also designed to be like a spaceship. We did this for $110 a square foot, which is unheard of for a building like this. So it's a futuristic ship, the battleship in the desert. So it's a pretty open office atmosphere, as you can see. Even these walls don't touch the glass. The floor you're on in the glass, and then these uh, screens pop up when the sun moves a little bit further. A lot of natural light in here, but you can also see the conversations above you and below you, so you, you get a vibe of what's going on. We've hidden the elevators, so we want to take people through the stairway so you see them and interact. When you interact, you're communicating, you have less silence. When we first started with Taser, stun guns had this you know, schlocky perception, uh, it was cheap. We wanted to show a, showcase it as very technical, high end, and at the same time we want to kind of get you in the future. You'll see we've got these little seats here that can be here for impromptu meetings. You'll also see that we have a stage. We have a lot of technology summits here. We bring in technology experts, talk about how the technology is changing exponentially. Uh, we've got an escape pod here. It's uh, an area that you can actually go into and have one-on-one -on -one conversations or have a private cell phone conversation. We've soundproofed it. It's almost like your old-fashioned telephone booth. Everyone here sits at either a cubicle or they sit in a matrix. This was a way that cleared up more space. It allowed people to travel because we have outside uh, offices in Seattle and Amsterdam and London. They could just show up here, stick their computer in here, next thing you know, voila. They've got two, three screens, whatever they need. And if they throw on headphones, we call it respecting the matrix. We've got these bouncy chairs everybody loves, and they've got these desks that rise up and down. Bouncy chairs are the most <laughs> cool thing for you. They're the most annoying thing for anybody else sitting there that sees it. This is what I call patent or perish. This is just some of the patents that we have. We've got over 100 and some odd patents out there. What we've done here is create the R&D black box and uh, limit the access to people to go in there. No press goes in there, unfortunately, and uh, no guests get to go in there. So it's putting all the engineers away into a dark room and let them work. This is a sort of a la Mad Magazine. You'll see the spy versus spy type character there. We did this from day one, we had the iris scanners. We want to project a totally unique experience when you walk in here. That gets everybody's attention. When you go through our iris scanner, it's not retinal. Everybody thinks it's a retinal scanner from the movies. It's an iris scanner. Somebody go up to there. Thank you. You have been identified. Okay, so it says, thank you, you've been identified. So it recognized my iris. You don't have to cut keys for anybody. You can let certain people into certain areas. A lot of people just open the door and anybody could slide in as that door is there. So we say, if you get tailgated, you lose your eye. That means you have to come through the front door and go through that same process you did, which is a real pain. Going into what's called the viewing room, another high-tech feature. Or people that sell us products, you know, we want them to know that we've got a production line. So what we do is we go from this to that. So that way they don't get to go out there and see what we're actually doing, but they know that this is for real, there's real people there. But we go from this to that. I get excited about coming here every day because one, you got a great building, Great fun. We've thrown footballs. Our CEO came rappelling down here last year for opening of our uh, conference. If you can make the work environment fun, at the same time useful, you get some good magic that comes out of a place like this. Mm -hmm.